from increased anxiety to high blood pressure, it's well known that anger is bad for our health. But a new study suggests becoming full of rage could change the structure of the brain itself, with the production of nerve cells in the hippocampus. Activity in these new nerve cells was seen with the continuation of aggressive behavior in an experiment involving male mice, which became increasingly angry. This suggests that the act of getting angry makes us angrier and the cycle continues. Neurobiologists from the Moscow Institute of Physics and Technology, MIPT, Russian Academy of Sciences, Cold Spring Harbor Lab and Stony Brook University, New York, explored the impact of anger on the brain in a study published in the journal Frontiers in Neuroscience. They looked at the changes that occurred in the brains of mice demonstrating aggressive behavior, such as attacking others and winning in fights. Pairs of mice were placed in a cage divided by a partition which allowed them to see, hear, and smell each other, but not to touch. Every day the partition was removed at the same time and the scientists noted it didn't take long for fights to break out. After two or three rowdy encounters, the winner was established and the pair separated again. After a win, dominating mice became even more aggressive. At the same time, new neurons were detected in their hippocampus one of the key structures of the brain which is used in the formation of long-term memory, and in navigating mazes, for example. Interestingly, the researchers observed activity in the new nerve cells of angry mice that were then allowed to carry on fighting. The team traced the effects of aggression in the brain at a cellular level by monitoring what's known as CFOS levels, one of the standard methods of actively searching for changes in nerve cells. Activating stem cells in the brain can lead to the generation of new nerve cells, which are needed to build the neural networks that play an essential role in memory, for example. Previous studies have shown learning or even encountering something new sets off a series of molecular changes in neurons, to produce long-term transformations in the brain. The researchers in the latest study compared the hippocampus and the amygdala, a brain region that is responsible for fear, aggression, and anxiety, to trace the influence of the aggression experiment on two key structures at once. Past evidence suggests that in aggressive and socially active mice, more new neurons are produced in the hippocampus. The new experiment revealed that with repeated fights, the level of the CFOS protein increased in the hippocampus, but decreased in the amygdala a potentially confusing finding. It is however, an interesting one, because in humans, the amygdala is involved in a number of pathological processes, including the formation of autism. The researchers observed increased anxiety, stereotypical repetitive behavior and impaired ability to communicate with others the mice and noted their symptoms are similar to those of autism in humans. Grigory Enikolopov, the head of MIPT's laboratory of brain stem cells, said, I am amazed at how the basic building blocks that make up complex behavior are similar in different organisms and it is truly fascinating how they can be combined with other blocks to create an enormous variety of behavioral reactions in animals and humans.